Hello everyone, my name is Austin Imoru and I believe you can do much more. Today, let's deal with a popular topic that many people have been asking me to talk about or to teach about. Now, that is how to sell yourself to a buying audience. Now, we understand that it is not every audience that is actually the buying type. There are two kinds of buyers out there or two kind of audience or two kind of customers you can have the first group i would say they are fans because they love you but they don't have enough to purchase from you they don't have the purchasing power then the second group are the group that love you and they have the means they have the purchasing power to buy from you so how do you attract that very group the group that can buy from you they have the capacity and they also love you now that is what we're going to be looking at today and I will say the first thing you should realize is that you should never advertise yourself. Never advertise yourself. Now you ask me if I don't advertise myself, how are they going to get to know about me? Now it is not about advertising yourself. What you should try to do is to try to advocate for their need. Now what do I mean? Like a lawyer will advocate for a case, you should advocate for their need. Now they have need, instead of you to sell yourself, try to discover their need and advocate for that need. That means go for their need, go for what they need and advocate for it. Now another, another way of saying advocate is saying soft sell. Now soft selling is a way that you are actually presenting something in an attractive manner that the person who want to buy will tell you bring it for me i want this it is not you that say you got to buy it at this price it, it doesn't involve haggling price because you only did a presentation so advocate when you know their needs then you can advocate now the second thing you need to do is to understand the power of compliment now I understand that wealthy people, people who have the means, people who can purchase, they are this kind of people that are attracted to compliment. Now when you compliment them, they are attracted to you. Now you and I know that when you compliment a child, that child gravitates towards you. When you compliment your wife or your spouse, they tend to do what you compliment them about. So why not engage it in business? Now, particularly those people that are rich, they gravitate towards compliment. When you compliment them, when you, t when you tell them how good they look, or so you tell them how, how beautiful their, their, their car is, or how wonderful their family is, this kind of compliment will get them to begin to gravitate towards you. That is how you can present yourself, or you sell yourself to a buying audience. Don't forget, a buying audience is a wealthy audience. So that audience, they need advocation. When you sell too hard to them, they skip. In other words, they leave you. They tend to think that you are haggling with them and they tend to see you as someone that pushed too hard. So it is not about selling hard to these guys. It's about advocating. It is about compliment. When you compliment them, they gravitate towards you. Then another thing that they actually gravitate towards is what I call taste test. So you need to be able to present what you are selling to them in such a way that they should taste it first. You tell them, if you want it, just see if it's good for you. I know it's good for you, but you just take a taste first and you're going to love it. And by the time you offer a taste test, they know it is value for money. You see, most people that have the means to buy from you, I call them the buying audience, the buying customers. These people, they respect you when you present a taste test for them. And let me tell you a secret. For most of them, once they have already tasted it, they'll feel guilty if they don't buy from you. You become their customer because they've tasted it. You presented something for them and say, okay, just taste this and see. So they are going to buy from you. You see, what I've actually given to you is a formula that I call ACT. A-C-T. The first one is advocate. Learn to advocate. The second one is learn to compliment. The third one is give them a taste test, learn to present a taste test. Now, if you do this with the high class customers, what I call the Lost Street customers, they will buy from you. This is how to present yourself to the right audience that has enough power to buy. Now, the next time you want to approach someone you think has the means to buy, remember ACT, A-C-T. Remember to advocate, remember to compliment, and finally, remember to give a taste test. Now, if you do this, you will be able to sell to anyone, anywhere that has enough means to actually pay for the product or the service that you are selling. Now, this is about yourself. Learn to sell yourself. 
Now, I want you to go practice ACT Act and tell me how it has helped your business. And if you think there's a better way you can reach buying audience, audience that can pay, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I will respond to you swiftly. I want to thank you for watching this video. I remain awesome tomorrow and I believe that you can do much more.